So 12 in the diagram on the right, ADB is a right angle triangle. So we see here this one is right angle triangle. Okay, 90 degree here. Uh, with hypotenuse, this is a hypotenuse. The triangle is rotated about AD to form a cone ABC. So to form a cone ABC, the triangle is rotated. Okay, I, I just read the question again. Find the height. Okay, so such that the volume generated is maximum. So when it said, okay, first you need to know what is the formula. So we are talking about volume. So volume of a cone is 1 over 3 pi r square h right. So we can see that we have two constant here which is r which is h. So when we say maximum, since you have two constant, it can be either dv over dr is equal to 0 because you have r here or dv over dh is equal to 0. It can be either both. But you have to see what the question want. So A, it wanted the height. So it wanted the height. So that means we don't want to have the uh, the, the unknown r. So we have to eliminate r. So how to eliminate r? So we have to see what is given in the this one. So we see we have the right angle triangle here, right? So we have the right angle triangle here, which this one is... 6 3 and we know this one is height and this one is r so if we can if we can find what is r in term of h then we can substitute and eliminate the unknown the, the variable r so here we see here this is the Pythagoras theorem so we know that r square plus h square is equal to 6 3 square so r square plus h square is equal to so when you square this one so 6 square you get 36 so 3 square you get 3. So r square plus h square is equal to 108. So we see here we want to substitute r square right. So we can directly find r square is equal to 108. So minus h square. So now we get r square. So we can substitute and eliminate the unknown r. So here v is equal to 1 over 3 pi. So our r here is 100 minus h square. And then we substitute r square. Now we have h here. So here 1 over 3 pi times h. Can I just do it? Uh, so, and so here we have 108 minus h square. Because like I don't want to have a like, careless mistake of forgetting to multiply with h back here. So 1 over 3 by h times 108. You get 36 by h. And here 1 over 3 by h times negative h h square you get negative 1 over 3 by h cube so you see here you have eliminated the r so we don't have r anymore so it's given that the volume generated is maximum we can find dv over dh is equal to 0 so here when dv over dh is equal to 0 so that means you have to find dv over dh you have v right so V is equal to 36 by H minus 1 over 3 by H cube. So DV over DH. So you see here, you are differentiating H. So the one with only H, you will take the constant. Right? Minus, when you differentiate this one, you see here, you bring the power forward. 3 times 1 over 3. Or you just, this one is a, you do one by one, right? 3 h and then you minus the power with 1 uh, same like if you direct you can just multiply directly because uh, later on 1 over 3 times 3 so minus this one you get 5 h square so now you have dv over dh and you know that dv over dh is equal to 0 because it is maximum so 36 pi minus pi h square is equal to 0 so pi 36 minus h square is equal to 0. So means pi divided by 0. Pi can be cancelled out. So you have 36 minus h square is equal to 0. h square is equal to 36. So h is equal to 36 which is equal to plus minus 6. But we know that the height cannot be negative, right? So h is equal to 6. So height here is equal to 6. This one is equal to 6. B, the volume of the cone when the volume generated is maximum. So you have the equation, right, which is here. So you just substitute H is equal to 6. 
So here when h is equal to 6, v is equal to 36 pi h is 6 minus 1 over 3 pi h is 6 cube. So here we get 206 pi minus 72 pi One four four pi centimeter cube. So here the volume, so the volume of the cone is one four four pi centimeter cube. 